Hey there, it's Anna McKinley here. Thanks so much for joining me. So hey, today I want to share with you another little known success secret. And this is one that goes against pretty much everything that most of us have ever been taught about success and what it takes to get ahead in this world. One that once you get this secret really integrated into how you approach your work and your life, it's going to transform everything. This one does come with a health warning. What I'm about to share with you goes against, directly against our predominant work ethic in today's world. All those notions about the hustle and it's all about the effort you put in and nothing comes without a struggle. Well, the fact is, is that without this essential ingredient, it doesn't matter how much effort, how many hours you're putting in, it's all going to be much, much less effective and you won't be as successful without this one thing. And that's why so many people feel like they're running on a treadmill all their lives, putting in the effort and never actually getting to that, uh, <laughs> that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, right? So you're probably wondering, Anna, cut to the chase. What is the secret for success? Well, it comes down to one word, and that is happiness. That's right. If you're looking for that key, the thing that separates the outliers, the exceptional achievers from everyone else, a big part of it is happiness. Now, let me get clear about what I mean when I say happiness, because it's much more than just putting on a smiley face and looking for the best and looking for the silver lining or the best in everything. And it's more than just doing whatever feels good in the moment, although you know, those are part of the mix. But what I'm talking about here is broader. It's things like our level of optimism, the extent of our social support networks and our um, you know, preparedness to engage with others and seek help, our ability to see stress as a challenge instead of a threat, our level of emotional positivity, our sense of accomplishment and of personal meaning in what we do each day, these types of things. Because the bottom line is if we want to be more productive and enjoy more success in life, and be more adaptive to the challenges of the world, which probably couldn't be more relevant than it is today. Well, it all starts with boosting our level of happiness right here in the now. And that is contrary to the way that most of us approach life. Because let's face it, the dominant paradigm in our world is you gotta work hard to get ahead and to be successful. And we've got to be successful so that we can have the money, the position, the recognition, the financial security, the stuff. And then once we have all of that, then we'll be able to be happy. The problem is that that is not actually how it works for us human beings. Now, total honesty moment here. I want to be really upfront with you all. I was brought up believing in that work ethic, believing it's all about putting in the work and the hours to get ahead. It's about the effort you put in and all that stuff. And while that got me to a certain point, I hit a ceiling and I just couldn't seem to get past it. Because let's face it, there is only so much hard work you can fit into a day before diminishing returns set in. And I'm going to be really upfront with you. The diminishing returns in terms of our productivity and effectiveness kick in a lot earlier than we like to think. And here, here's the thing as well, this approach of putting in the work, getting to the success, and only then do we get to be happy, that actually gets us onto a treadmill of hard work where we never quite arrive because it always becomes about the next thing. We accomplish one milestone or project or career goal, and then it's about, well, what's the next one to get ahead and the next one and the next one? So we're continually striving for that next goal and never actually arriving at that elusive place we call success. And if our happiness lies on the other side of success, we're never going to get there. So we end up on a very demotivating road that leads to this feeling of being stuck, even to burnout. And that's what happened to me. So I learned this stuff the hard way. Because you see, the little known secret is that the way the success formula really works for us human beings is completely the other way around. It's not success leads to happiness. It's more happiness creates more success in our lives. Let me explain. And we know this from extensive research. As human beings, when we are in a positive emotional state that is happy, right, then we are significantly more productive in what we do. Our intelligence goes up. We're able to learn better and adapt to our circumstances much more effectively. We're more creative. We have more energy. And we experience better results in what we do. 
If we're in sales, we get more sales. If we're a medical practice practitioner, we're more accurate, more and, and more effective in diagnosing and so on. So bottom line, we're more successful at whatever it is that we're doing. <laughs> and the side benefit is that, well, if we're happy, life is just so much more enjoyable, right? So I want to be really clear. So we know this not just from ivory tower kind of research. Sean Acor, who's known for his book, The Happiness Advantage, which is all about this stuff, actually took these ideas out into real world companies working with their employees. He did this during the global financial crisis in 2009. So pretty much the most challenging time in which to test the, these kinds of ideas around happiness leading to success and more resilience, right? And he had some really astounding results. Um, so we know this from the real world. So there you have it. That's the little known success secret. Put happiness and well-being first and everything else will improve as a result. Now, most people's reaction when I share this is along the lines of, well, that's all well and good, Anna, and it sounds really nice to be happy, fantastic, but how do I do it? I've been chasing happiness for years. How do I get happy? So watch this space because over the next few weeks, I will actually be sharing with you proven practical approaches that you can start using right now to retrain your brain so that you can start enjoying more happiness now. Because here's another little known secret. Most of our happiness is not determined by the external stuff. It's not about the people, the money, the house and all of that. In fact, our external circumstances predict only about 10% of our happiness. The remaining 90% is actually all about how our brain processes the world. It's about how we perceive things, the mental filters through which we view everything in our lives. And that you can change. That's the really good news. If you want to, you can rewire things so that everything shifts. If you like the sound of that, then watch the space because over the next few weeks, I'll be sharing with you focused videos on practical tools to help you create more happiness now so that you can enjoy life better and enjoy more success as well. So thank you so much for joining me. Scroll down now, share your comments or thoughts in the space provided below, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.